The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. the podcast prodigy. Yeah. Look, we're both smiling and happy and Derek's just <laughs> sitting there like somebody just beat him for oh. fucking drinking the last of the milk and not telling anyone. Like, I'm 41. I don't know. How are you milk. doing, man? All right. Anyways, uh, we have two excellent stand-up comedians first. He is the most homosexual, funny guy. Uh, well, I don't even know what he is, but it's, uh, you know, Mr. JP. <laughs> I'm fairy. not sure either. Yeah, I just know that's my sound effect. Yep, fairy dust. Uh, but we also have another uh, comedian. He's back, and uh, it's Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Thrilled to be here. Uh, yeah. I was just, it, I miss sitting next to Scotty so much. It yeah. Was, I mean, we even talked. I mean, me and JP were just like, Derek, it's okay. We we can find somebody. If you're not going to be happy, it's okay. We can find somebody to be on the show. And Derek we was can't. like, no, dude, I want to be on the show. Yeah, I don't think begged. I said that. <laughs> he begged. Begged. I'm like, I no, don't think please. I actually recall getting to have this conversation. Please let me be on the show. Uh, but no. <laughs> Anyways. Was I, was I drunk? Uh, he might have been. been. <laughs> oh, but we had so much fun. I'm like here against my will. Uh, yeah. how funny. Yeah. It, it, can somebody please call the police? Yeah. <laughs> or a hit man. Either way. <laughs> Remember, uh, send bullets. That's right. <laughs> please send bullets. That's right. Uh, but anyways, welcome to the I'll laughing. do it live on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a whole bunch of views. Scotty, you're my 13th reason. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. You just need one, and then everybody mm-hmm. else is happy. Anyways, absolutely, uh, that's right. Uh, but we have an excellent show for you guys today. This is a comedy podcast. If this is the first time you've listened to it, because I know there's going to be a whole bunch of new listeners uh, after last week's uh, rant and rip on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Welcome, Steelers fans. Uh, this is a comedy podcast where we like to uh, make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, a lot of them are targeted towards me and now Derek, and uh, we don't give a shit. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend all kinds of groups of people. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. I have a lot of skin. I know you do. And sometimes I take my dick out, remember? <laughs> and put it in between uh, Derek's skin uh, and oh. use some lube, and that's all it takes. Lube. Uh, or I've don't been lube. gone for five weeks. Sweat. Not There's happening. enough gravy in there to fucking, you don't need any lube. That's no true. gravy in there. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. There's it's that lint fun- and, and, and a peanut M&M. And a I lost peanut M&M. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the remote. Well, yeah. that's not. Every time I fart, the channel changes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, but, anyways, we got a great episode this week. We've got some uh, current events to go over. We've got the un- overrated or underrated. We've got That's Where I Draw the Line, JP's favorite segment. Questions and preguntas and a great draft. And as always, a shitty situation to wrap things up. But before we get to all of that, we like to let y'all know what happened to us over our last couple of weeks because we know <laughs> you guys really care. Uh, and I know that Derek has been gone for the longest amount of time. It's been great. And, no, and, and as much as we all want to really know what has happened to him, we're going to go to JP. JP... Yeah, uh, how, fuck you, Derek. How have you been, buddy? <laughs> uh, I've yeah. been really good, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, fucking thanks to my buddy Derek over here. Yeah. I've been really good. That's I, good, uh, man. Yeah, I was. I actually I went to go buy a new car a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, my my finance rate and everything it wasn't going to be great, and so I looked into my credit, and my credit is not bad, but it wasn't great. So I was trying to figure out ways 
to no, improve no shit. my credit or whatever. Really, mid forties. I know I'm growing up. Mid forties pothead. My mom doing be a so podcast. Fucking, my mom star would be so on a podcast. Proud. Dude. Can I say star on a podcast? Right? I would say star too. Recognized, recognized in public. Yep. Star. Oh, and, yeah. And still, still Don't, low credit score. It's yeah. amazing. What's in that thing? Yeah. Uh, it's so, uh, whiskey alternative. <laughs> anyway, uh, not done all the alcohol without the whiskey. Is yeah, that what that right. Is? <laughs> it is. I don't get it. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. It's uh, so. Anyway, I went and Derek got me a loan and fucking. I'm feeling good. I yeah. I'm so excited for a couple weeks from now, October 10th. You get a new bowling ball? No. What? Prime days. And I'll be able to afford to get some shit. Oh, I'm so nice. fucking excited, bro. Usually I just put it in my car and then look at it and be like, God, someday I'll what? be rich like Scotty. What do you want to buy? I don't do know you, yet. Do you want advice? Nothing. Do you no, want maybe. advice? I can tell you all kinds of worthless shit you can oh, buy. Oh, I love Prime worthless day. shit. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Like, so I'm so yeah, I'm super stoked about Prime You can day. get you can get a new pot grinder, like a weed grinder oh, with I've all got kinds the of best grinder in the okay. world. All right. Yeah, he's right. got an app for it. He's yeah. Got, yeah. I just <laughs> said I just set the weed on my phone and then it just grinds itself and fucking <laughs> yeah. Damn. That's not the kind of grinder app I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, I know, man. <laughs> he's on uh, that one too. I'm on that one too. Uh-huh. But here's the thing, <laughs> holy shit. I I don't need to be yeah, I finally I've hit that age in gay where if you don't have a lot of money, the people that are trying to hook up with you are not pretty. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck is right. Mm. You have not lived until you opened up an instant message from a 60 year old man. And the first thing you see is his butthole. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell my dad to knock it off. Please do, man. I'm sick of it. Oh, uh, shit. It's supposed to be a prank. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not a prank if he does it every day. <laughs> I bet you that thing. Then it's just, an obsession. <laughs> I bet you that thing that's, just whistles when he walks. Oh, yeah. Is oh, it, yeah. That's super weird because he's dead. Oh, yeah. Well, then, it, you know, it probably still whistles. Uh, but anyways, uh, but anything yeah, else? Um, Man, I, I bowled, I smoked, I played video games, you know, the normal shit. Did you um, see any new shows? Yeah. Because that's what we become. Yeah, man, I watched Air last night. That's good. Uh, for the first time. I, I'd never seen it. It's a great movie. Yeah. Great movie. I doc, liked it a lot. Doc, documentary. Yep. Yeah. I liked fucking it. fucking amazing. Uh, Michael Jordan was a big, pretty big deal. Mm. It, but it turned sh- out to be okay. But his shoes were his even, shoes were even bigger. His, bigger. And his they best still year, are. His best years were with the Wizards, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was gonna say, was it was it the White Sox or the? Uh, it was the it was the well. First, it was the Birmingham Barons. Barons. Well, yeah, yeah, but when he f- did play in the pros, it was the White Sox, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. And it was I was a, gonna say his best years were with the, with and the White Sox. And it was a total yeah. stunt. It wasn't oh. like he shouldn't have made the starting lineup. He, he was. Yes, he, he should have. He's he was, fucking Michael Jordan. <laughs> that's why he made the lineup. It's he like, was no Bo Jackson. Exactly. Don't get me wrong. If, exactly. If Tim Tebow could be a Met, God damn it, Michael Jordan <laughs> yes, could be a White Sox. Yes. That's true. Uh, but yeah, it was. Uh, you speaking know. of fucking Tim Tebow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, he Dude, loves that guy. He my, loves my team. Huge fan. Yeah. My football team is unwatchable. <laughs> we'll get to that in yeah. a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, no, yeah. I, we'll get there. Yeah. Because trust me, a lot of people want to know. Uh, but anyways, uh, I know I know I've had a, a, a great week, but I'm gonna give it to Derek because he's got to be in the middle. Well, I just found out Scotty had a good week, so my week my sucked. week sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been busy, man. Yeah, uh, baseball, baseball, vacation, more baseball, uh, and then I was sick last week. And, did, and you didn't die. We're all I know. Fucking I was pissed fucking, about it. Look, me too. Look, shit. I, nobody's me more too. upset than fucking Derek. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, thirty-eight ibuprofen doesn't do the job. <laughs> doesn't do the job. You need to take that thirty-nine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. So the the highlight of what I while I've been gone has been vacation. Yeah. Uh. We went to San Francisco. Yeah. I've never been there. JP, lot of uh, Giants fans oh, up there. Yes, uh, there are. <laughs> yes, there are. I know yeah, that. San Francisco every- is the mecca of Giants fans. <laughs> yeah, especially at the ballpark. Yeah. Oh, uh, was they-, they were everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Hiding under the bleachers and in the bushes. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I pulled the ultimate fat piece of shit move at that ballpark. So I was trying to figure out what to do when we went there. I have a friend that lives there. There's a guy that I, I worked with that uh, had been spent lots of years out there. So I asked uh, the friend of mine that lives out there, I said, hey, anything you recommend we should do? And she was giving us like some restaurants to eat at and things like that. And she's like, 
you got to go to Ghirardelli Square and get an ice cream sundae, which like Ghirardelli is like the chocolate. Right. Place. So I'm like, okay. So we they let us check in our hotel early, like way early at like 10 a.m., which was or 11 a.m., which was great because we'd been up since four in the morning. Uh, we get checked into our hotel. We go down to Ghirardelli Square um, at like Fisherman's Wharf area, and we were going to find something to eat. So we go to get lunch, and for listeners not in the Midwest, this was fucking alarming to me. Uh, my wife got a flatbread pizza and a soda. I got a water and a crab sandwich. Ninety-one dollars, <laughs> and I was like, "God, no. damn it!" No. Yes. Yes. No way. Oh, oh yes. One hundred percent. Ninety-one dollars. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. So then we're right in Ghirardelli Square, and I'm like, "Oh man, let's go get some of those Sundays." Two Sundays. Because what doesn't go better with a crab sandwich? <laughs> Forty-five dollars. <laughs> yes. Yes. One hundred percent. And yeah, he, and he's shocked. He's shocked about yeah. this. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that bad once we got out of touristy areas, uh, but in those areas, holy um, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm opening not, up an ice cream shop, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, wow. we walked down by the water. There were some dumb fucks playing water polo. I'd never seen this, so I stopped to watch for a while. Oh, yeah. Uh, 50 degrees in that water, and they were in fucking Speedos. And, oh, oh, tell that, me more. That's why yeah, Derek stopped. Fucking, yeah. Nah. Uh, San Francisco, here I come. Yeah. Uh-huh. Unfucking real. Uh, and then we went to Alcatraz, which was tits. Yeah, it's yeah. the shit. I've it wanted cool. to go there since I was a kid. And uh, we went and... It's a we shame the, he made it out. <laughs> oh, right? shit. Right. God damn it. A few people asked me if I made the swim, but, I mean, we all know I'm in peak physical right, condition. Right, so Of I, course I, he did. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're walking through the, pr- the prison, and you do, like, an audio tour, and we're on the – we did an evening tour. So you basically fuck get headphones. That. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I've heard, like, like spirits and ghosts and shit like that. Fuck that. Yeah, I brought them here. Okay. They're here tonight. Thanks. Uh, so <laughs> – what do we have for him, Mr. Stroud? Uh, uh, so we're walking through, and and the evening tour, they'll let you go upstairs, and you could we could see like the infirmary and stuff like that. We could see where Robert Stroud cell, the bird guy, the bird man was, and all that. Uh, not the one with Manny Fresh, the other one. The, <laughs> and, the uh, other one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So the other bird man. We, we got to do that, and then as we're walk downstairs, there's a guy that's working there. And he's like, he sees me and my wife just kind of walking around on our own. And he goes, hey, you guys want to see the dungeon? And we're like, <laughs> fuck yeah. So he takes us over to this secured, like, locked off area, unlocks it, and then opens this other secure area. And then we go down underneath. It's me and my wife and then, like, this young couple. Strangely enough, this story sounds oddly familiar to me. <laughs> yeah. So we go down and he shows, he's like, man, this is where solitary was before they built it upstairs. Like it's fucking pitch black. You can see where people had like scratched in the walls and shit, like what day it was. Uh, he's like, you know, people would say they'd go down for solitary and then never, could they'd never see him again. But this actually goes the whole length of the prison. So they'd go down an A block and then come up in D block. So, but it was, it was fucking awesome, dude. I'm I, surprised he's back here. Like, that sounds like some sketchy, sketchy right. shit. Right. Want to yeah. see the dungeon? You want to see sure. the dungeon? Fucking hey, I did. <clears throat> Just you, your wife, and another couple that was probably the same size and can't run very fast? Absolutely. Let's yeah. go ahead and yeah. go downstairs. There's Come on downstairs. I can't, I beat, fat shit. I beat Scotty in two foot races. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Um, there would so never happen. It, ever, it's, ever. It's happened. I want to um, put it on video. So, dude, we, uh, <laughs> I think Derek running on video would be fun. <laughs> fucking hilarious that's all i want i want to slow it down just so i can see both of his tits wobbling in different directions you got no clue how quick i am okay i'm I'm fast as fuck they call me fast as fuck boy i've issued the challenge and every time you turn it down i've been there where have you been you gotta go home yeah, see, you're like... You, Dude, if you could run around this table without collapsing, I would be impressed. 100%. <laughs> I agree. 100%. Okay. But uh, anyways, so I forget even where the fuck I was at. We're talking about Alcatraz. You were at Alcatraz the, in the dungeon. The dungeon, you escaped the dungeon from yeah. total death from a crazy weird dude. And let me guess, that dude doesn't even work there nobody even right knew. Yeah. they're like who's tomas, who's tomas? <laughs> we went to uh chinatown because it's like the largest chinatown there oh yeah uh and they're in the united states yeah. outside of china i believe it's the largest chinatown and it was fucking cool uh a friend of mine was like you got to go to this this bar called the lipo lounge and so i went i didn't know that she knew the bartender so we go into the this bar and there's this like 
probably 55 year old Chinese lady, 55, 60. And she just comes up and she, we had to have the Chinese Mai Tais is what they were. They were strong as fuck. And she sits us down at the bar and, or we sit down at the bar and we each order one. And then she makes them and brings them over, sets them down. We're maybe a quarter or halfway through them. And she just walks over and just fucking dumps the blender and refills them. And then starts bitching about a customer that like said that they, she took her beer because there was like a little bit left in it. And she's bitching about that. And then I was like, you guys come back tomorrow. You, I don't work tomorrow. You come back Friday. You say, more delicious. I remember you. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So then when I got back and I told the lady that I knew that I went to that place, she's like, oh, was the old Chinese lady working? I'm like, fuck yeah, she was. So it was cool. We went to a speakeasy that was yeah. a front of a pawn shop. <clears throat> So it's in a really weird, kind of not-so-nice area of town, but you walk in and uh, you have to give the guy at the door like something to pawn, and then they let you in. You would have liked it. I think it was ran by all gays. Oh. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the group. That's what the, did you give them to pawn? <laughs> that's the boy band from I the I told them one of your jokes. Did you? <laughs> yeah. he, you're like, keep it. <laughs> yeah, good, luck, good luck getting rid of that one. <laughs> So, yeah, that's uh, so that was cool. Uh, other than that, I mean, we just did a whole bunch of shit in San Francisco. I had a great time. Yeah. Uh, and then came back and had to go back to fucking work, which sucks. End of baseball, though. End, end of minor league baseball for you. Yes. That was so, bittersweet. So that, that's, I mean, uh, we, were, we're not, we weren't very good. So I, it sounds shitty, but we were I was the like, hottest team in August, bro. Hottest team in August. And that was and the only month we were good. I know. Right. I know. That's I get a problem. it. I month. get it. But I mean, like. Uh, we own August, but the rest of them weren't great. <laughs> yeah. We weren't good enough to win it. Der- yeah. Derek and myself uh, give each other a lot of shit on this show, but I got to say, I feel bad for the dude. I really do. Like, as much as I give him shit for complaining, like. He has, he has, we all have regular nine to fives whenever we do the show, right? I mean, all of yeah. us work, work I know, it's shocking. 50 hours a week. Well, Derek, during the oh, baseball. Oh, I don't work 50 hours a week. <laughs> well, except that's why you have a bad that's credit why score pothead. Have any money. Yeah, exactly. Weird. Uh, but no, uh, but then after Derek goes and does his job and then does this show a couple of times a month because of baseball, he's going to a baseball stadium at six o'clock and he's there until 11. So, and, he, and he's working the entire time. So, I mean, where I, are you going with I, this? I'm, I'm man. just, I'm saying that I got to give him props because I know it sucks. What? It, it sucks because it's just, it's just more shit. And so, here's the thing, man. Shut up. I'm giving him a compliment and don't ruin yeah, it. Yeah, let him compliment me. Yeah, God damn fucking it. shit. What is going on here, man? I know, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, I'm glad to have you back. I'm glad you're going to be oh on the show. Oh, my God. Often. Why don't you just suck his dick? No, because mm. now I'm going to talk a lot of shit on you. Oh, um, uh-oh, we're going to start talking about sports. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not sports related. Okay. Um, so uh, last episode, I talked about the stupid text messages that Derek was sending me about how happy he was that he didn't know who was playing football. Yeah, that was nice. This week, I get text messages about, uh, you know, how maybe he's sick. And I'm just like, is he really sick? Come on. Is he really fucking sick? And then he's, he sends me texts. And I know Derek. Derek's, uh, I mean, I don't want to say health freak, but you're, you, you're conscious about your health. And you don't want to get anybody else sick. I right? just didn't feel good. I could give a fuck if I get you sick. Yeah. <laughs> and so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Fuck you, Scott. I hope I get you yeah. sick. Dude, yeah. if I have leprosy, I'm hugging Hugging you. me all over. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm just, I mean, like, I get that text message and I'm just like, motherfucker. And then JP comes on the episode the very next day. He's like, oh, yeah, Derek was out at the bowling alley bowl. And I'm like, fucking, of course he was. Uh, yeah. You know. Anyways, uh, I'm actually glad to have you back. It, it's, it's nice to have somebody to bounce sh- shit off of. But uh, if you decide not what? to be on an episode in the future, just know we have several people better than you. Oh, absolutely. I'm more than happy to fill the spot. The fans would like it better. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. I don't know what's going on here <laughs> I'm today. I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, I did. Uh, I got into uh, some uh, video game thing that I did not know was a thing until TikTok. It has absolutely taken over my for you page. Do you know what prop hunt is? It's a it's a it's a game mode on Call of Duty where you mm-hmm. are chasing around props from a map, like a light bulb or like a fucking bush or a rock or something like that. Are you and goofus and galanting it, your way through fucking call of duty. It is where's Waldo for call of duty with guns. It's fucking great. And this guy 
on TikTok is now got millions of followers because all he's doing is running away as a rock and shit. And it's fucking hilarious. So I tried it out. Apparently, I'm pretty fucking good at it. I had no idea. So that's my like go-to thing to do right now. So if you see me on Call of Duty and you want to like invite me to play with Dude, you, if I, uh, don't do it. I'm busy. No. Um, Here is what you need to play. Uh-oh. I, I've just seen this. Oh, it is Prime on October 10th. I'm so excited. Uh, this is what you got to get, JP, right here. Uh, there is a game called Goat Simulator 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, on PlayStation 5. Do They've they made have... other ones. They've made one and two this week. There it is yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, my God. And it looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I, I clicked on it and watched, like, the preview for it. It looks awful, but I... Kind of want to buy it, but I think if I spent 20 bucks on it, my wife would cane me. <laughs> <laughs> but God damn it. Goat Simulator 3, everybody. That yeah. is... I wonder if this year they've got just, screaming goats. You just sold so many copies for them, yeah. And they're like, what the fuck? We sold 20 copies. Like, what the hell? Do you they think you it. want goats, but you're not sure yet? <laughs> Try this. No, you're, you are the goat. Oh, oh you're, you're the goat? Yeah. Yeah, it's got all the... Oh, I'm in. All the awesomeness. $20, I'm in. It's got all the awesomeness of Goat Simulator 2. Plus. But, but more. But the graphics of PlayStation 5 in a new simulator. Wow. This is mm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're getting nuts on this show. Okay. Anyways. Goat that's Simulator it. it is. I hope it's on Prime Days. Oh, um, <laughs> if it's on Prime Day, I'm going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Right? Uh, yeah, I have... Man, uh, I I actually did what I said I was gonna did on last or do on last episode. I uh, I got my books. I got my my silo books. Oh, gay. I actually started reading, and I am shocked by how far I am at this point. I'm already halfway through the first book. And for somebody who hates reading, that's, yeah, that's you don't that's, have to read. That's bro. quite inspiring. They got movies. I know. No, they just got TV show. Okay, whatever. Yeah. They got talking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is that. But then I also have to address something. That was almost too good, man. <laughs> I think I, I, I do have to address this because it was kind of crazy. So on Instagram, apparently, I had a, I had a rant talking about how much uh, Steelers fans really pissed me off. And uh, I, I do say, you guys, uh, some of you were excellent sports about it. You guys were true Steelers fans saying, hey, you know what? I get it. It's totally fine. And everybody was giving me shit because it was like, man, they only made it to one Super Bowl in the 90s. Okay, listen, you were a powerhouse in the 80s, 90s, especially the 70s. Um, but you guys and the Cowboys were pretty much the same reason. And I don't give a shit about the history of Steel and where it went. I don't care. But uh, there was also some of you that pretty much proved my point. And now um, I, I, I am going to recant that statement and say you guys aren't the most annoying fans in the NFL anymore. Chief fans. Because it is definitely the oh, fucking yeah, for Chiefs, sure fans. It's the Chiefs fans. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But anyways, uh, other than that, the thing I'm going to end on was something that Derek actually sent a video of this to me. Uh, and it's and it was Jer it was me and Jeremy and Derek on the show at the time, so it's been about it, over a year. And Derek sent some to me that I said I watched and I didn't really watch it, but he said it's absolutely fucking hilarious. Well, the same video or like a compilation of the same video uh, yeah. was sent to me, and it's of kids running through a mirror maze. Oh, they're the best. It's the Bro. fucking best yeah. thing ever. They're great. It's the best those thing ever. And they ever. run, dude, right into those motherfuckers, <laughs> right dude. Oh, wall. it's awesome. And it's so great. Yeah, it is. So Google that shit, because if you're having a bad day, kids running into a wall at full speed and don't even <laughs> see it coming, it's absolutely brilliant. But anyways, uh, that was my week. Hope all of you guys out there had a great week. Now we get to move on to the current events, which we are going to start off with, uh, you know, Coach Prime, like we should. I love that. What's I did that? watch that. Or what? I didn't watch it, but I heard about it. He got his ass beat. You you like that he got his ass beat, or you love Coach Prime? I love that he got his ass beat. I love Coach Prime, but I also love that he got his ass beat. He's got... The fact that he said that his son may not enter the draft this year because he's not going to be number two to nobody... His son isn't number two. His son isn't number three. Even. <laughs> His son's probably like five. Yeah. Especially after that. Yeah. Uh, I have my theory of what's going to happen. I have I have a lot of those people that come up to me and they and they say stuff like like they're trying to hype up the Colorado Buffaloes because of Coach Prime and they're like, man, you, you just watch. They're going to go into Oregon and they're going to beat them Ducks, man. I'm telling you right now. And I just look at them and like. 
you have derailed. Like you have lost it. I understand it's there's a lot of hype, but you got to settle down and be realistic. No, man, that guy he can do anything and everything with those kids. I watch, you just watch. So by about halftime when it was 30 to nothing, I sent a screenshot to that person and made him feel like an idiot because I told you so. That motherfucker almost lost to Colorado State the week before. Like. How, exactly. And and they're not that good either. And so just be realistic with stuff. Listen, I, I'm glad. I hope he has a great season. It becomes one of the better coaches in that conference. They're That's pretty much going to win the national championship, but I think. Come on. And in the best part was was the speech by the Oregon Ducks in the locker room before the game. He's basically just going out there. It's like, those guys are going for clicks. We're going for wins. And that's exactly right. By like, clicks, he means miles. Old military term. Old military miles. <laughs> you got how many clicks over <laughs> to the nearest city. That's what Coach Prime was, was wanting. I'm but, telling uh, you what's going to happen. Okay, what's going to happen? Is <clears throat> his son's going to play. He's, he's coming back next year to Colorado. Oh, he has to. McCarthy, I, I I wouldn't be shocked if it's McCarthy, but uh, somebody in the NFL, a head coaching job is going to come up. Yeah. I think maybe Dallas, and it's going to be a package deal. I will sign on as coach, and you draft my son. I think they're going to go to the NFL together on the same team. Uh, That's no. what I think. And he used to play for Dallas. The Niners guy ain't getting fired. It's either going to be Atlanta or it's going to be Dallas. And and I Atlanta's think. looking good right now. I don't so, know. Uh, Atlanta's looking good right now, so I don't think it'd be Atlanta. It and easily I, could be Dallas because fucking Dak is junk. I've been saying that for four yeah, fucking of years. Course. Everybody knows it except Dak and Jerry Jones, apparently. And 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 that's why that's why Steelers fans you have now also dropped below the Dallas Cowboys again look, because look at that. I think he wants to suck some Steeler dick. No, I don't. I absolutely don't. He's got some black and gold right here. Yeah, yeah that's, oh, that's yeah. true. Uh, but no, I think that uh, the, yellow, the Cowboys, the Cowboys fans. While you guys have the largest fan base of any other sporting fan base in the entire world, that just means you have more fucking retards in it. And so, hey, I, easy with the R word. I'm bro. sorry, some, yeah, you're supposed to put an O at the end. Of my it. bad. <laughs> you have you have way too many freaking retards O's. in there. Retardos. Retardos. Sorry, tards. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that they came in full effect, obviously, when they're going to Arizona. We them boys, we have the best defense. And then you have Trayvon Diggs, who got an injury. He's out for the rest of the season. And so they're using that as an excuse. Don't. I'm telling you right now, Dak Prescott is not as good of a quarterback as you th thought he ever was. And I know some good Dallas Cowboys fans understand that. I totally do. Um, but you going into Arizona and getting beat by a quarterback that legitimately was on the Cardinals roster a week before the season, and you guys got trounced in Arizona. Don't kid yourselves. Um, no, they, this did, ain't not, your they year. did not get trounced. They did. They did. No, no, they, they didn't an, get trounced. They had an opportunity to win, and they fucked it up. I wouldn't call that a trouncing. What would you call it? I would call what happened to my team a trouncing. Okay, we'll get to that. Okay. Um. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. Yeah. I did, uh, well. Dude, they were one for five in the red zone. Let's do Dallas. that. Let's you actually, know it? Let, yeah. They, one for they five in the red zone. All they had to do was, was two of those times score. A touchdown. They couldn't fucking do it. They went for they went for fourth. They went Dallas on fourth Cowboys down. all over again. Yeah, they went I on mean, fourth and fourth never and goal. Gonna, yeah. Uh, so yeah, don't don't talk until you get to the playoffs and win a playoff game. Don't don't come at me with that shit. Um, but we will go ahead and move on to the, so, to the game of the week. Man. You calling it the game? Fuck you! It's the game of the week. It bro. wasn't. Oh yeah, come on. Oh god, you guys it was are a so different sad. different team. You guys um, have a you have a new defensive coordinator because the defensive coordinator resigned we are, we at are the beginning of the week. So theoretically, you guys are going to be fucking just jacked. Oh, Dolphins going into dude. Miami to face a Tua Tonga Vailoa, which by the way, he is one fucking concussion away from <laughs> eliminating his entire from career from being a retardo, <laughs> <laughs> from being Muhammad Ali. Yeah, yeah right. Exactly, and uh, it that did not happen. It did not happen at all. Go ahead and, uh, JP, I, there was a lot of fans that know that you're a Denver Broncos fan. Oh, and, it was uh, so sad and disappointing, man. Oh, man. The first week I got to watch it on my new TV. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude, I was all stoked. And yeah. We were doing okay, and then not so much. 
70 fucking points we let them score and dude i i feel like that was low i feel like they should have probably scored 80 <laughs> they should have they yeah. took two out well yeah they took two out uh, that mean, they, there was the backup quarterback through touchdowns uh, at will what is wrong with my broncos that is the second most points ever scored by any one team it was 70 points uh, uh, you can't blame all that on russell wilson but you can blame some of it on him 726 yards of total offense that's yeah. three clicks. That's three <laughs> clicks. Yes. Holy three shit. clicks worth of fucking three offense. Clicks. That's rare. <laughs> yeah, God. it was. Actually, that's four it. clicks. Yeah, yeah. It might be. Yeah. That Actually, might. yeah. My team, my team is unwatchable. I don't know about unwatchable. Well, I like that you've got the fucking replay going right now. I do. That's oh, cool. look, it's the game. We're yeah, watching the that, actual game. This is going to be fun. Awesome. Um, I don't know if that was necessarily unwatchable. I know you've got a lot of points for fantasy football that came out of oh, that game. Yeah. So, I mean, you got to watch it. But I think what's more unwatchable is what we have in store for us next week when you guys play the Chicago Bears. Dude, you know what shit show that's going to be? <laughs> oh, my God. I, Denver will win that game. I think they will, too. You just get 70 hung on Sooner, you. Sooner, yeah. Game. You got to come back with a vengeance. But here's the thing. Russell Wilson, somewhere along the line from the time he left Seattle and got to Denver. Got hit in the head. Went full retardo. <laughs> and, uh, well, I don't know what the fuck happened. But that dude is not the same f- f- football player that we signed. If, the f- if they just let him cook, <laughs> then it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. He said, "Let's ride one time," and went. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude, that's what happened. Some, that that may not be Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson may have died. That's a clone. And yes, yeah, that's that, a clone. That Russell Wilson may no longer be with us, and that is that is. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not even kidding. There are prisons uh, next weekend that are going to show the Broncos and Bears game in solitary confinement as a form of torture to disorderly inmates. You sound like you're kidding. Uh, no, that's true. No, that's not true. I know it is not true, but no. it could be. There you go. That's the that's the Glizzo thing all yeah. over. Yeah, again. all over again, Spreading dude. False Scotty's a fucking liar. I know. I'm not a liar. You can't trust him. I just have fun. No, you can't trust him. Definitely can't trust him. Uh, but no, there was a question for Twitter. He wanted to ask us as as because you know Derek. It's a you question pay for attention. Twitter. No, it's from Twitter. Oh. This is a listener from Twitter. Isaac Hunter wants X. to know it's from X, Scotty. I'm sorry. Whatever. Uh, he wanted to know. Do you think this is a repeat year of the 1972 Dolphins? Are they for real? Going for the law hall. Long no haul. way. You don't think so? No way. They're not going to go undefeated. Give my give me a break. Okay. All right. But no you, fucking way. Do you think no way in today's NFL anybody goes undefeated? It just can't happen. Do you think that they are the favorites to win the Super Bowl at this point? No. Who who do you have coming out of the uh, the AFC? What's the better script? What do you think? Oh my god. <sighs> well, here's the thing, man. It's not a script, asshole. Thank you. You piece of shit. You want to know? Talk, you want to talk about Tardos? I'm sitting next to one right now. Mm. Hey, put the O yeah, on it. I mean, I don't I'm know. I guess I guess they have to be the favorite. I guess you're right. Yeah. I can't think of another team that's defense that's that's pretty that's decent. That, that, that's and, decent, and, and then an offense dude, that's unstoppable. I mean, there's yeah. one thing that could stop the the Miami Dolphins. Oh yeah, and that is um, a hurricane. No, Tua becoming a Tardo. Right. That, that's yep. what. That's the only thing. He gets hit in the head. Yep. And all of a sudden, that's the only thing. But and I kind of love it because everybody just fucking downplayed him so much when he came into the league, and well, how he had, wasn't going to be able to throw hard enough or long enough to make Tyreek Hill a, a oh, factor. Shit. Yeah, that's not uh, even the question could, anymore. Yeah, so I mean, I love that he's progressed, and I like that. I like to see him play well. Yeah, and, uh, and except for when they fucking smash my Broncos seventy to fucking. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? What did you think was going to happen? I didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, God. I knew God. we'd get beat, but I didn't think it was going to be like that, man. The the Here's the fucking crazy Holy thing. The shit. spread for that game was six and a half for the Miami Dolphins, <laughs> and I fucking laughed. I was like, dude, I'd, I'd take 10, at least at least 10 to 12, and I would have still taken the Miami Dolphins on that. Yeah. It's easy to say that because the game's over. Right. Uh, but anyways, uh, but no, I, I, I do think they have the potential of being a Super Bowl caliber team. Do I think they're going to be undefeated? No. I don't think that that's going to happen. They're in too strong of a division uh, with the Buffaloes being there. I know the Jets are still are going to be shitty because Derek's favorite player got hurt at the beginning of the season, Aaron Rodgers. I don't know why you're doing the womp womp for that. Uh, uh, because it's he, that's a cheer. That's a yeah. oh, sorry, my bad. Is that what you want? Oh, okay, fair that's enough. That's better. 
Fuck Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, uh, but couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Yeah, uh, I saw the best uh, the best joke I heard about that because uh-huh. that happened on uh, what Monday night a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. And said, "Man, that is a." What are the odds another jet goes down on 9-11? I was like, God damn, that's great. That is great. Or he played four snaps if you count as Achilles. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's good too. Uh, But no, I I just think that they're in too too good of a division to be able to uh, go undefeated. So that's that. Uh, Next one, I wanted to talk about my Detroit Lions. They ended up beating the uh, Atlanta Falcons. But the thing that I wanted to talk about most of all was there is a new trend going around with Detroit Lions fans. I don't know if I'm quite on board about. Um, They are going to wear blue villain masks or a.k.a. blue ski masks at the games in Detroit. Um, That I mean, do you guys think that would probably maybe, I don't know, like uh, encourage crime activity for that? No. In Detroit, oh, there's no crime in Detroit. Oh, yeah. sorry, my bad. In yeah, Detroit's you're right. just full. You're right. It's just yeah. full of, of good, nice, good, nice people. Great people. No gangs. No gangs. No gangs. Crips and Bloods don't go up there. Not or anything the Detroit. Like that. No. no, no, no. Well, no. Bloods won't wear a, a blue ski mask. It's, I can tell you that true. right now. That's well, true. I know this is a recruiting tactic fought by the Crips. I that's think smart. Might, might be that's smart. See, I mean, that's it's smart. Honolulu blue, but it's blue nonetheless. Crips Especially have a good. Crips have a good marketing department. They do. Yeah, that's what. That's because they're lying. Lions fans, what else have they got to do? I mean, that's probably well, got to be Crip true. Walk for one. Yeah, Crip, Crip Walk. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's something. That's what I want now. It's like right after that, then the cheerleaders learn to Crip Walk. Fuck yeah, that would be, That'd be great. Epic. That would be epic. That would be pretty. You cool. can start getting ugly cheerleaders now because of the whole like ski mask thing. I think that should be a well, thing. That's true. Yeah, you know, be hot from the neck down and just get them to wear ski masks. There's lots of broads like that. Absolutely, yeah. Broads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are you a know? girl in every port. <laughs> Broads. When's yes. the last time you heard somebody say broads? No, sorry. <laughs> a lot of clicks on that broad over there. Oh, that broad, that broad hey, over there hey, is that one too many hey, clicks. Hey, it's brado. You got to put, put an O at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Nah, it sounds Lord. like you're cheering at an opera. Yeah. Brado! Brado! Yeah, yeah, you know. Ah. All right. Uh, anyways, moving mm. on. I think mm. the thing that everybody is talking about the most, which um, if you ask an actual sports fan, it's the most annoying fucking thing on the face of the planet, <laughs> and that is that Taylor Swift is uh, seen at a private box next to Mama Kelsey in Kansas City during the Kansas City Chief game this weekend. See, that pissed me off. Because I got real excited when I heard Taylor Swift private box. I immediately <laughs> got on Pornhub and nothing. nothing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Dude, I bet when she takes off her panties, her pussy sings. Oh, I guarantee Dude, it. I bet it's amazing. You're right. It's, it's got to be. As it, much money as she has, I bet that thing is just. You got close. I think it's a. No, I don't uh, think so, buddy. Dude, she can have any dick that she wants. Most Dude. women can. I fucking hate her, man. You know, for that yeah. reason. I, I love her, but. God, Travis if, Kelsey. If I was Taylor Swift, I my pussy would hang to my knees. <laughs> I'm it sure already it already does. It kind of does, yeah. Well, you gotta you gotta get. That's why we never see you in shorts. That's right. <laughs> He's got that t- good tongue oil though. Mm-hmm. That t- glove tongue oil. You oh, know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, my mitt is but nice I, and soft. I saw a video the other day, and I and I'm assuming that the the wife was just fucking with the husband, but I couldn't tell, and I about came unglued. But she's looking at her husband. She's like, that's so nice that Taylor Swift is going out with this football player to, like, boost his ego a little bit. And now people actually know who he is. See, everybody's cheering for him. And I'm just kind of sitting there like, you got to be kidding. Are you fucking kidding me? So now they have, like, rules posted everywhere of how football works for all the Swifties who are now going to go to a fucking Chiefs game. Oh, my God, you have Jackson Mahomes, Brittany Mahomes, and now you have Swifties. Dude. Congratulations, yeah. Chiefs fans. You guys suck more than any other fan base it, ever. That's the, If they do start dating and she does start coming to the games, yeah. dude, that, that place will never not. They, they should raise their ticket prices. Oh, 100%. Because they will sell out no matter Absolutely. what. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. They better take advantage of that shit. Oh, my God. And it's just, oh, Jesus Christ, it's going to be so annoying. I mean, they're selling $90 crab sandwiches down there Whoa. in fucking uh, <laughs> yeah, San Francisco. San Francisco. 40, $48 crab sandwiches. 48 Jesus That's Christ. That's so Christ. fucking Ooh. stupid. Um, I saw something <laughs> like a headline yeah. that said, uh, Travis Kelsey will not comment 
uh, on his relationship with Taylor Swift. And I was like, since when does he keep his fucking mouth shut? Yeah, that, like, yeah. what the fuck's since going on Since she told there? him to. Because yeah. he doesn't want to fuck Get this up. up. Mm. That's why. For the first time, he's not only he dating speaks, somebody. He's fucked it up. No, I'm telling you, this is the very first time he's actually dating somebody who makes more money than he does. So he's not going to want to oh, fuck this up. She makes way more, more money, money than, than he, he does. does. So it's <clears> like, <throat> shut the fuck up. I'm surprised there's a whole bunch of videos going around of like, uh, like things leading up to this about Taylor Swift of him like sniffing his finger and stuff. I mean, like, I, why? Like, why, bro? And then they then they saw him leaving with her and stuff. They're not even holding hands, and it's just like, stop it, just stop it, just leave him alone. I I hope that if it was gonna work out. Uh, paparazzi stay the fuck out of it i mean that's my honest opinion <laughs> just leave them the fuck alone because if anything's gonna fuck it up and it has anything to do with the paparazzi it's gonna suck and if she writes another fucking song about anything related to football i'm gonna explode my head is gonna blow the fuck up that's it all right that's all i have to okay. say about that it's good marketing by goodell yeah for <laughs> yeah. sure yeah that was all in the it's, script it's a cross promotion it's like whenever uh yeah Donald Trump came on Monday Night Raw back in 1997 or something. Okay. Anyways, uh, that is the current events for this week. Uh, yeah, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Guys, you, uh, again, did excellent on the socials. I got to give you a hand. Uh, there's quite a few of you. Uh, every single Monday, I put out a, uh, a post on our social medias that uh, – have you guys make suggestions for all of these upcoming segments? And I do have to say there was a lot of good ones. Uh, there's a lot of them that I, I did respond to say we've already done that one before. Uh, but there was also some that I didn't even respond to because I'm just like, what in the, what the fuck? Uh, but all of the ones that uh, that I like, I, I've, I've seen. Uh, but again, every single Monday, I will put out that post. Give us your best suggestions. And if we like it, we'll uh, give you a shout out and put it on the show. That was a damn good looking post. It was, wasn't oh, it? Oh, my God. I figured you'd like that. I liked it. Uh, we, we put Derek on it last week, and so it's a mystery, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he fucking didn't show up, there you go. so that's what happens. You should have put me on it again this week. Yeah. God damn that it. explains it. Keep that's, the streak alive. That's, yeah. that's, why, that's why it did so good, is because yeah, it was you and not I'm, Derek. I'm, that I'm makes not so surprised. much sense. I'm not surprised. Anyways, we're going to kick this overrated or underrated People off. love me. They do love that me. They don't know and me. And they should. <laughs> they should. You're a great person. I am. Uh, but anyways, uh, first one it comes from us from Facebook. This is from Lucas Zachary Altman. Three names, dude. You got to put th all three that fucking means he's names. A fucking, he's a fucking serial killer, right? That, that's exactly fucking, right. Yeah. Three names. It's yep. going to be. He's going to assassinate a president. Yep. That's yep. Yeah. Yep. You got to. Right. LZA. Be on the lookout. Uh, but anyways. Oh, uh, you already nicknamed him. That, that, well, that's his initials, dipshit. Yeah, but it didn't take you long to figure that out. Because uh, I can fucking read, dumbass. Uh, I know. You've been bragging about it all show. You're halfway <laughs> through. <laughs> At least I don't have to sound out words, dipshit. Yeah, you All do. right. Uh, first one is overrated or underrated. Uh, this is from Let's have a Lucas. spelling contest. Okay. Um, overrated or underrated, naked midget wrestling. Or from last week, meat missile wrestling. <laughs> Obviously underrated. Really? Yeah, of course. What? Dude, who doesn't want to see two little midgets get naked and wrestle around? That's Me. I do. I can, uh, what? Of course, I, that's underrated. That's like so close to kids. Do they oil it's not up even and stuff? Funny. Yeah, dude. That's like uh, a bunch of four foot, fucking three and a half. Uh, uh. Well, I mean, that's at least, too close to kids, man. I, mean, I can't you, do it. You're right. You do have to go to Walmart, but the, you don't only have to get the kiddie pool. That's true. I mean, there you really do. See? So you make it work. Um, but uh, yeah, this is way underrated. I'd rather see midgets rustle in those big puffy coats. <laughs> that, would be, that would be cute. That would that be would adorable. Be Dude, that would be adorable. Oh, uh, yeah. This Ooh. big, poofy looking like, winter Looking coats. like little Missy Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super fly. Yeah. Super duper Fuck fly. Yeah. <laughs> I just watch him try to get up. Yeah. Oh, get him in one of those. Shit. Get him in 90s starter jackets uh, and or just dude, let him go like down. The sumo suits, but <laughs> yeah. their yeah. size sumo suits. They would did be that dope. on Jackass with Wee uh, Man. I think yeah. that's a great idea. Yeah. Fuck like yes. That, that kid from the Christmas story trying to get up. <laughs> yes. Oh, that'd be fucking great. That would yes. be cool. See? Uh, yeah. Underrated. Underrated. Poof. Underrated. Ah, uh, see, I'm going overrated, but poofy coat's underrated. Under, okay. okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh next one comes in from Facebook. This is Rick Wise. Uh he wants to know overrated or underrated wearing a kilt. 
Fucking underrated, guy. Yeah. You look uh, like the kind of guy that would do that. Yeah, yeah you do I look would. like a guy, a kilt guy. I would totally be the one to not only wear a kilt, but play uh, the, uh, what the oh, fuck? Bagpipes. Thank you. <laughs> play Jesus the bagpipes. But I want to be. The, I want to have the bagpipes that have like the fucking flames that come out of it. You've oh, seen yeah, that man. guy in, yeah, in you, Vegas? Fuck yeah. You're basically fucking uh, groundskeeper Willie right now. <laughs> so, I mean, you're not that far off. I get it. Yeah, man. I ain't, I ain't nervous. I'll wear a kilt. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that guy that wears the kilt's like the pretentious douche that wants everybody to look at him. Yeah. He's like, yeah. watch this. Everybody's going to stare at my kilt and tell me I'm awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> why exactly. I'm going overrated yeah <laughs> all right seriously there's a guy that i, I know that does wear a kilt mm. i don't like him one bit he's kind of a douche see and he wears a kilt all the time and it's like it's really fucking ridiculous what are you trying to do so no this is actually overrated uh but anyways all right next one uh this also comes in from facebook this is from ben park he wants to know overrated or underrated crowd work He's talking about comedy. Comedy. My, yeah. No. My, I'm just saying. Are you sure? Just wanted to point that out. Okay. Just making sure I that wasn't you guys sure. are saying. Yeah, I picked up on that. Same page, everybody. Same Crowd page. Crowd work in, in stand-up comedy means kind of just playing with the crowd. My answer is going to be uh, kind of probably surprising, but I'm going to say underrated. Wow. No, I would have bet $100 he was going to say overrated. When your whole, he can't do it. Amy. When your whole act is, is that, there then... Yeah, that's way overrated. But there if you're comes. good at it and you can you can hop into the crowd and somebody says something and you can run off of that and 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 one up them every fucking time, just that'll shut them the fuck up yeah. usually. Uh, so I'm gonna say underrated because I've heard some great fucking lines yeah, yeah. from some comics that have put me on the fucking floor. So I'm gonna say underrated. It's it's just don't make it your whole act. Do you want to close it out, or do you want me to close it out? I'll close. Or you close it out. Okay, you go ahead. What it's, do you think? It's way underrated. Way underrated. Way underrated. I think that there are comedians that actually make their entire careers because they're so good at crowd work. Uh, some of them, the one that Derek is specifically talking about. Oh, I want to. I want to play with his has penis. Has millions of followers specifically because his crowd work is so impeccable. And JP, who am I talking about? That's not why it has millions of followers. Yeah. I, am, am I wrong or am I right? Look at his followers and look at Jeff Leeson's followers. Okay. Um, plus, he's a good looking dude, but, uh, yeah. but Matt oh, Rife he is. Matt Rife oh. is exceptional. Come on our show, Matt Rife, and come on my face. I'm sure. Yeah, but he is exceptional at crowd work. The other person who's extremely underrated at crowd work, which I, I've, I still follow him to this day, and I'm very impressed still by him, he's the guy that stutters. Um, oh. I, oh, I can't fucking think. Drew Lynch, dude. Drew Lynch, thank one of you. my favorites. Yes, and, I love that guy. Yeah, and he became yeah. popular because of America's Got yeah. Talent, dude. He's he's and, he's solid, and man. his crowd I like Drew work Lynch a lot. is exceptional. I mean, and I've mm. seen his stand up comedy. I've seen Matt Rives too, and I do have to say, I think that there are definitely some com comedians that are just better with crowd work. Their their timing is much better. But um, I'm way better at crowd work than I am anything else. Yeah, crowd work is so underrated, and yeah. I think you can build careers off of that. So that's my point. Opinion. All right. Well, I'm going to go overrated. Wow. Only. Uh, oh, sorry. Because there's so many fucking comedians that do crowd work that is just so cringy and awful. There's one Skip comedian. And, yeah, that's who I was thinking is of, it? actually. <laughs> yeah. It? Yeah. <laughs> What's your profession? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Drug dealer. Yeah. yeah. Somebody like, say pharmacist. What do you do? I build dealer. airplanes. What do you do? Drug I dealer. Teach. What do you do? Pharmacist. Drug, Drug dealer. dealer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, I think there's all so, so many people that think they're good at crowd work that really aren't. Yeah. They're so, it's so bad. That's why I, if you're good at it, that's awesome. Okay. It's definitely underrated, but I think. There's way more people that are horrible at it that think they're good at it and keep trying than it's worth. So that's why I go overrated. Dude, if Skip Clark can headline places, then Dude, if you ever thought about being a comedian, do you it. You should do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're Jeez. saying I should do it. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. You okay. Hands down better than Skip Clark. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember I was emceeing for Thanks, him man. once, which already felt like a kick in the nuts. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, fuck. And I was out at the sitting out at the bar because I, God forbid, I was going to watch yeah, his fucking right, show. No. So I knew what time he was going to get off stage. And the the guy working the room was like, come run, comes running out. And he's like, dude, what are you doing? He's closing. I'm like, 
he's got like 10 minutes left and he's like oh, he's getting off so i come out i come back in the room hurrying up and he's like ripping me on stage i guess i got to do more times and fuck mc ain't even in here Fuck no, I ain't in here. You suck, dude. Like, yeah. yeah, you got to do yeah. more time. Fulfill your fucking obligation, yeah. you dumbass. I you usually would go minutes, in. Dog. I would go in five to six minutes early, and yeah. just in case. Yeah, but never ten. Yeah, yeah. No. That's too bad. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, now we get to move on. This is another one from Facebook. God, Facebook killed the overrated or underrated this week. Uh, <laughs> this is from Frankie Ward. Oh dear God, oh. Frankie Ward. He wants to know. <laughs> Overrated or underrated drag queens? Way overrated. <laughs> Dude, yeah. and I'll tell you why. Because one of the first times I ever met one of my best friends who was a bartender, Andy, got me so drunk that I went home with a drag queen. <laughs> and I woke up the next morning. That was back before you were gay. No, I was gay. <laughs> no, I was gay then. I was gay then. But I uh, I woke up the next morning and kind of rolled over and was like, <laughs> what the fuck did I do? What did I do? <laughs> it was not good. It was bad, 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 oh, bad. Like coffee bad? Oh, yeah. Oh. It was not good. What oh. did I do? What happened? It, oh, was, it wasn't good. I don't want to know. Otherwise, otherwise I say it underrated because i love drag i've done it i've got fucking i'll send you some pictures i don't want the pictures <laughs> absolutely fucking not i don't want the goddamn you'd pictures. be so attracted no. to me bro i'm no. such a hot chick no. scotty dressed up as a girl last year no. for halloween yeah I, I, oh god thank god i'm the only one he was in leggings i i no you should have seen this oh i bet i okay so there was a trend going around that uh you would dress up like your spouse so my my wife dressed oh, up nice. as me, nice, and then I dressed up as my wife. That is um, the most embarrassing thing yikes. I've ever done. Yeah, I obviously love my wife, and that is how I showed that I love. That's my wife. awesome. There is only one picture of that, and I have it. I made my wife delete it off of her phone. So yeah, man, I I'll send you guys pictures. No, just, he doesn't have any. Yeah, sure, it, it was my goddamn party. It I was, but you did not take pictures. Uh, my wife did. Please, my dear wife. God. Please, dear God. No, don't fucking His do it. His doorbell camera. Caught I you. do not give. I do not give permission. Uh, so yeah, I, I I don't care as far as drag queens go. I don't care. It's not my thing. It's. I, I saw. Uh, oh, it's not my thing. It isn't. Hey, it's not that I he saw, printed out in high school. You know. I did see the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. There's something called. I think it's called Love on the Spectrum. And that was oh, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and the dude went to a show oh yeah for lady boys dude that was a funny he didn't believe it that was the funniest shit know. I've ever seen oh dude it was great <laughs> oh, I need dude. to watch that that show. show's oh, fucking great fuck it was awesome yeah. oh he was so convinced they were oh, chicks. yeah they were they were yeah, chicks they were not oh that's some good stuff speaking of Down syndrome have you watched fucking Shane Gillis's new special oh yeah no. oh yeah. Oh is my it good? fucking god, yeah. dude! This he's, joke he's, he has about Down syndrome is one of the f my favorite jokes I've ever fucking heard. I'll yeah. definitely check it out. Oh yeah, they are the happiest people on the face of the planet. Is how he starts, and, and he's right. The two things they love fucking have me die. <laughs> Go ahead, I can't remember. I, JP hasn't seen it yet. I want. Oh, JP, okay, JP yeah, that's good. Uh, but no, that's my next call. That is my next call. Uh, Shane Gillis will probably be the next up and coming like big Here time. He uh, no, no, yeah. no. I mean, he's going to be on the level of Burt Kreischer very soon. I mean, selling out arenas kind of big. And the main reason why he is already becoming like um, uh, memes and stuff like that. There's one that I use. It's it's the one he's on the plane, the yeah. skit of him on the plane that's going down and calling people that he fucking that hates. He fucking hates. Fuck yeah. yes. That's great. That is Shane Gillis will be the next huge comedian uh, that is traveling the country. So be on the lookout. Um, mm. So yeah, uh, I I would. Oh, did everybody say drag? No, you didn't uh, say overrated yeah, or I'll, underrated. I'm gonna go underrated. Underrated drag yeah, queens. That uh, a I can't imagine fucking trying to walk in heels. Dude, it's not that easy. Dude, I know it's fucking can't be. Dude, there's no way. You know how I learned? By vacuuming in heels. Oh, that is the weirdest picture I just got in my fucking head. It's, it's the it's the best way to learn to walk. Gentlemen, if you want to learn to walk in heels, <laughs> you get a pair and you vacuum in them for about a week and you'll get real good at it. Dude, the fucking heels thing. I we were in I was with my wife in Vegas like fucking 6 7 years ago. 
And we were bored one night, and we were like, "What do we do?" So we went down. By so you put on some heels. No, we went down by at the at the base of Caesar's Palace. There's like some outdoor bars, and so we go down. There's this escalator that goes down, and there's a club down there. Like you walk a little bit, and so we're watching these broads go on the escalator. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you gotta stop with the broads, man. <laughs> Broados. Uh, Broados. Oh, Jesus, you were like, like some yeah. 1968 fucking. That's what I'm doing. I'm bringing it back. Broads. <laughs> we're, watching, yeah. we're watching these broads go down the escalator. Yeah. And fucking, they the, step them off. Them weren't broads. They step off the fucking. You, you're watching these bitches fucking like damn near tough. They look like newborn giraffes. Yeah. <laughs> like fucking walking and so we're just sitting there, each with a beer, and then we'd see, oh, oh, you dog. God, she almost went. Like, that's what we did for, like, an hour and a half and just watch these fucking... It's like cow tipping, but drag queen tipping. <laughs> yeah. These weren't just drag queens. These were just regular broads. Oh, yeah? yeah. Just regular broads <laughs> in heels. Yeah, yeah. Regular broados. Yeah, so uh, just the fact that, they, that the drag queens are able to fucking, A, learn to walk in those fucking heels. They spend so much fucking time and money on that shit. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. And um, it's a whole character, man. It's... And, so I'm gonna say underrated. And and okay. if you're, and heels heels are great. They make your legs look great. Oh yeah. Uh, but my favorite thing they do. Yes, yeah, Scotty is, had some on on Halloween. I did not. I did not. Uh, but I'm telling you, my favorite thing that heels do by 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 far is break when a very overweight woman is wearing them. Favorite thing. Face dive. Oh, love it. Ah, right. And last but certainly not least, overrated or underrated bathroom amenity sensors. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, like the, the motion sprays? The motion the, detector uh, paper the towels. The uh, motion oh, yeah. detector that <clears throat> flush the toilet when you're still taking a shit. Those are great. Oh, my God. I fucking hate them. Oh, no, they're fantastic, especially whenever you got the guy that fucking goes to take a piss and then just pushes the fucking lever down and wipes the piss off his hands <laughs> oh, and doesn't bro. wash them. And oh. then you're like, oh, I sure could use a motionless sensor right the fuck now. Oh, no. Yeah, no, those are those are fucking great. They, Except when you go to wipe your ass and it just keeps flushing <laughs> on the toilet. Yep. That's a little annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's, and sometimes you just want to save it for the next guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Can't do that with the motion. Uh, the motion detector, um, like paper towels, is the most frustrating fucking thing on the face because of the planet. Because it gives you like this much. It gives you this much yeah. paper to wipe, yeah. to, to dry your hands with. And so then there's already another setting for it that you have to wait like 15 seconds. So me and like four other Tardos are sitting there with our hands going like this, trying to get more paper to come out of it. And so we have to wait 10 seconds and then go, uh. And then it finally spits out another two inches, and you're sitting there going, what the fuck? I just want fucking paper to dry my hands. That's all I'm asking. So I think it's way overrated. And then whenever it, it's flushing toilets when I'm still shitting is really annoying as well. My favorite was whatever. I worked at Applebee's, and they had the ones that had, like, the wheel. You just turn the wheel if there's oh, no paper no, towel. Yeah. And it would say, if no paper towel, turn wheel. <laughs> Set it right there on the fucking thing. People are and just somebody, standing there. We'd, you'd roll silverware right by the bathrooms. That's where the silverware rolling station was. And all the servers would sit there. That's kind of where you bullshit and congregate. So you'd roll silverware, and somebody would come out of the men's room and go, you're out of paper towels in the men's room. Oh, okay. Hey, you want to go spin the wheel? Or yeah, you right. Too? Yeah, just, yeah. Fucking <laughs> idiots. All right, next. That was, <laughs> dude, it would fucking happen 10 times a night. Yeah. I'm sure it would. I say underrated. Yeah. For the same reason. I've seen people that... that I worked at Quick Trip for a long time, so I know what bath people do in those bathrooms. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be touching anything. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. you go in there and shit and piss. That's what well, you go and do. That's not, yeah, that's okay. not everything you do. I wish. <laughs> I wish that was it. And it's not because of automatic sensors. People will still go into a bathroom in a public restroom and shit in the corner. I've seen that done. I still don't understand. The toilets are readily available, but still, there's You've that You've seen one that, like, in the act? Uh, um, I, you like, hey, don't mind me. I, just, I, I have legitimately walked in, and there was a guy that was in the like he was washing his hands, and on, where the where the sink is is on the same side of where the urinals are, uh -huh. but on the other side is where the actual stall, stalls are, and there's four full size stalls back there, and um, while there was a guy that came out and just walked out the door, didn't wash his hands or nothing, which if you're coming out of where the bathroom stalls are mm -hmm. and don't wash your hands, that's gross as fuck to me. Unless but, you're like tucking your shirt in or something. I've done that. But the um, 
But the other thing was, was there was a guy that was that came out of the urinals and comes up and like washes his hands just like I am. It's like that dude leave the fucking bathroom without even washing his fucking hands. And I'm like, I guess. And there was another guy that ends up coming out of where the stalls were right after that. And you just hear him go, Jesus Christ, somebody just took a shit in the fucking, like, walking area here. And I, we all both run over there. walking over here. This is one guy coming out of the bathroom, all four of the stalls, wide fucking open at mm. now. Did you, so, get, did you get a picture of the guy? Because no. I'm wondering if he works at Spirit. No, I don't. Mm. Oh. <laughs> right. A poop. He left <laughs> a, a poop. poop. Right there in the walking right in the corner. area. Let me ask you guys a question. Serious yeah. question. Did I have to get you guys? Like, <laughs> you guys? You guys ever shit in a urinal? No. No. I have. <laughs> have you really? Yeah. Why? Oh. Yeah. Were you I drunk? Was, no, I was fourteen. <laughs> oh, oh my 14 or god. Five, fourteen or fifteen. I thought that's what they were for. No, I thought it would be hilarious. Well, <laughs> like, yeah. You walk in and there's just this turd, uh, like a goddamn good peanut you, butter man. parfait. Good for you, man. Uh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I'm not proud of it now, <laughs> you know. But at fourteen, God, I was pretty proud. Uh, and then I ran in the stall and white, so there wasn't even any paper, like evidence. <laughs> <I'll see. laughs> it just just a turd. Jesus Christ! Just, yeah, you I ran in the stall. A poop. A yeah. poop in the urinal. In the yeah. urinal. All right. Good God. Yeah. My I, life is a poop in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> your autobiography. Yeah. A poop in the urinal. That's by what G- it is. By, G- by, G- by JP. JP. All right. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line again. Um, every Monday, Monday, fun day. Scotty's going to buy that book. He reads, you know. I know he does. Yeah. That's what I hear. Pretty good at it, too, I think. Mm-hmm. Which is shocking. You got to sound the words out. That's all you got to do. Just real slow. And just, you'll get it. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. That's where I draw the line. He this called is... me one day. He's like, dude, he ate the green eggs and ham. He <laughs> ate them. And I'm like, yeah, Scotty. And he liked good. them. He liked them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, first one for that's where I draw the line. This comes <coughs> from Twitter. This is uh, William Payne. He, he wants to know. Bring in the pain. Yeah. He wants to know, how many times can a friend cancel plans before you stop inviting them? Can't, I mean, we're talking consecutively here. Twice. As many as they want. Two times? Yeah. Two times? That's it for me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I disagree. I just keep inviting them, and if they don't fucking show up or they don't want to come, they don't have to, but they're still my friend. I used to just make second plans. Yeah. So I'd be like, hey, what are you doing? You want to do? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. And then I'd call another buddy. Hey, you want to go out? Yeah. Cool. Uh, he might meet us if he feels like it. Yeah. yeah. That's, oh, okay. I'd make I am that advice. guy, though. So I am the one that's like, yeah, you're... I wake up and I'm like, do I really want to go to the zoo today or do I just want to fucking lay around here, jerk off and smoke pot? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the thing that drives me nuts is when you invite somebody to come and do something, then they say they're going to be there. Okay. And then at last minute, they cut out. And you're depending on them to be so there. So is that what this is? Yeah, that's what okay, I kind of Okay, well, think. then I say twice. Twice, two yeah. times. That's that's kind of where I'm at. I, okay. Like, one time, it's like, man, that fucking sucks, and you already have that negative yeah, feeling about it. And, yeah, okay. And, and then and then they fuck you up again, and it's like, I'm, motherfucker. I'm with you. You changed my mind. You yeah. talked me into yeah, it that, twice. That drives me fucking up. We are all. unanimous. Unanimous, two times. That's the maximum. Uh, next one. Uh, this is for also from Twitter. This is from Bill. Uh, this is his. Oh, it's from Bill. Uh, his name on Twitter is at Warpig Three. Uh, he wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird because mine's Cum Pig Three. That's we got a lot in common, Bill. Squealing pig. Here's there, Bill. Four Pig Three. <laughs> Either way, yeah. I've got them. I've got them all. That's uh-huh. right. Uh, he wants to know how many times can someone fart in public before you have to say something. They can keep far. Event. I'm not going to say anything. I'll just fucking you go back at them. You can't smell it. You I'll can't battle smell back it. at them. Oh, he will? Yeah, I'll just <laughs> right back at them. Let's go, Take that, buddy. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know because. Hmm. Derek can't smell, though. Yeah, I can. Oh, you can now? You got your smell back? I've always been able to smell. Just certain things smell weird to I me. I thought you said you can't smell farts anymore. No, well, yeah. Like my own shit, I can't smell. <laughs> His own shit don't stink. That Literally, that is the case. My now. God, you got a big head, dude. Um, it's true. Uh, yeah, it's a dome. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, oh, dude, I don't know. I'm not going to be the guy that sits there after one fart and be like, dude, really? Like, I'm not going to do that. If it's a friend that I know well. I say four. Four times? 
because you got to make sure is it the is it really that guy and then you got to psych yourself up after the third time you're like all right if he does it one more fucking time i'm gonna say something you know so I, four I gotta, See, i'd be like three sides of broccoli please yeah. let's go motherfucker <laughs> it's on for me it would be chocolate milk that motherfucker would be in some trouble <laughs> if, if i had a fucking gallon of chocolate milk right here right now i'll be like can i have a broccoli omelet please <laughs> yeah I, I got to think of this as <laughs> <Extra> like cheese. <laughs> th- th- there has to be something to this question because it's like, okay, if, if there is a person who's just loudly farting and, and like giggling about it, I, then it takes two times. But if it's like, if it's like those SBDs, that's what I'm trying to say. You right. To, that's what you, you got to figure out. You got to uh, figure out like, who right. is this? And if it just keeps smelling like shit, finally, somebody's going to go, who in the fuck is is tearing ass right now? And then it's you. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's whoever it, says that. It's not whoever smelt it, dealt it. But I mean, you know who it is because by that point, you know, you know because your butthole's per- too big if that, you are farting and you don't know it. That's true. That's not good. But f- you, f- you know who it is because after that happens, they're yeah. the person that's going like this. Yeah. That's the, <laughs> Usually the it's like, the guy that's leaning to one side. Yeah, one yeah. Or the other. <laughs> my, my favorite still, I love the videos of the dudes that are out in public and they'll be like, <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like yeah, they're trying, trying to, cover to cover up a up, fart, yeah. but it's so yeah. I like they'll drop a book and then it's like a right. thirteen second fucking yes. ladder. Yeah. That fucking kills. That's, that's the best one. In high school, there was uh, there's a video that's that's on the so I, or that's out there, and I don't know who it is, but there's a kid just like all right, just make a noise to cover a fart. So he sits there and drops a book, yeah, and yeah. like a second later, just what's the rip? Yeah. And then it's oh, that's just great. See, guys, I saw a guy do that in the elevator. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, see, farts are fine. You didn't just cough. <laughs> no, yeah, I coughed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I just read the next one. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. This is a good one. Uh, this is from Instagram. This is at uh, KS, KS Elms, I think is what it is, or Kansas Elms. I'm not sure. Uh, but they want to know. How many holes can you have in your underwear before you throw them out? I think it's K Selms. K Selms? Okay, we'll go with that too. Kansas right. Elms. K- Kansas, Kansas Elms. Kansas Elms. Yeah, it's like an elm tree. There are just more of them. There's a, it's plural. Kansas Elm trees. That's what it is. Um, so how many holes in, so can you, can you have in your The first thing that I do when I get a new pair of underwear is cut a hole in the butt. That, that, way, people so, know you're, that way people right. know you're cool. Uh, right. Yeah, exactly. So I guess... Uh, one in the back, one in the front, two in the sides, five. Two in Once, the sides? You want to know? Nope. Okay. No, well, then sure, don't ask stupid no. fucking questions. JP, okay, JP five. Gets side <laughs> My answer is five. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Atta, baby. Wait to bring it home. Side pocket. I, I, set, I set it up and yeah. you fucking spike it home. That's right. Atta, uh, baby. So five is my answer. <laughs> Fuck. I, I do not like holes in, in uh, my socks or my underwears. I don't like them at all, and it it. it I just I, I can't. I can feel them. I, I can feel them, and whenever I feel them, I don't. I don't. They, they go. You don't like. I them don't like them at all. So one hole, it's done. Okay. So that's my answer. How about you, there, uh, Derek? I don't wear any. I knew it. I, I knew he was gonna say that because they can't get his, his size. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not only that, after we've been recording a podcast, there's only so much fruit in an, the loom. For an hour and forty five minutes, Derek likes to shit himself before he gets up off the stool, and then after he does it, it just smells. It doesn't even smell like a fart. It smells like raw asshole. That's mm. what it smells like. Like, I smells, think that's your upper lip. No, it's you. It's it's just you. So what is wrong with you straight people not taking care of your assholes because they d- smell so bad? I do. I, I, I wash my asshole. You should wash your asshole. Inside and out? You shouldn't do that. Okay. Just well, the then outside. you don't do a good enough job. <laughs> no. Scotty washes his asshole with the same loofah he washes his face with. I know what I'm going to get. I know what I'm going to get <laughs> you for do. Christmas, yeah. man. Oh, uh, no one. It, no. I know what I'm getting no, you for Christmas. Please don't. Please. It's called a shower shot. No, I don't <laughs> want to do anything like that. Quit it. No, that's gross. You got it, buddy. Uh, I'm getting you one. Oh, please, for the love of God, don't do that. Um, <laughs> I like the idea. You should give it for him. So I'm going to. So next one. I'm going to wait till Prime Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. 69% off. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'll get him one, too. That's just a coincidence. Anyways, next one. Uh, this comes from Facebook. This is from Chase Golden. He wants to know how many kids is too many kids for one couple to have. One. One. 
I agree. I knew that answer Fuck was kids. coming. Fuck kids. I knew that answer was coming. I think he knew, too. Yeah, he did, too. Yeah. He knew. He set us up, that son of... Chase Golden, you motherfucker. These, these, you set us up. Here's the thing. You've got a gay guy who can't have kids. His answer is always going to be one. And then you have I one... I can have kids, bro. You can? Yeah. How? You steal what do you mean, how? How, do yeah. you, how can you have kids? Adopt them. Well, that's different. You can't oh, make children. I can make children. All I got to do is find a nice lesbian couple that wants a kid. <laughs> and then... Yeah, he's got the Huh? Yeah, he's I can make a kid. Got the equipment, bro. yeah, but I'd make a fucking badass little kid. Anyways, all I'm saying is, you got a gay guy and a guy that's a douchebag. They're gonna say one kid is way too many. They yeah. want the population of humans to completely. I notice you don't have down. any fucking kids running around here, so I don't know why you're talking shit on us. Uh, is this the big announcement? Nope. Scotty's having a baby. Nope. Dude. Oh, nope. my God. Nope. If you nope. ever have a baby. I thought she looked like she was glowing. That's dude, fucked up. I will 100% know there's no God if fucking, <laughs> if you ever have a child. That's, uh, that'll be the only baby that strangles itself on purpose. Yes, the umbilical yes. cord. It, it aborted itself. Yeah, 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 it's like, womb. fuck yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> I, all I can say is we we have talked about it. And... It's not. I'm not out of the woods yet. I, I am totally. I, I'm totally fine with not. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. She is more pro kid now, uh, um, and I'm. I, it doesn't matter. I, I'm. I'm. I'm able to be God. sold. Oh, he's walking it. I'm able to be sold, but I'm just not there yet. You know, you have days where Could you have. You imagine hold on. You have Scotty days. Scotty being your dad. I'd be fucking kick ass dad. No. Oh. I would be. But but can you You'd be taller than your dad in third grade. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. You get picked on so you bad. Bring him to show and tell yeah. fifth grade. Fucking Oh, one hundred percent. He's way taller. But no, can you uh, like this is my situation. So I'm like I'm kinda softened up to the point I'm like, yeah, maybe maybe a kid's not a bad idea. And then I go out in public and then these stupid fucking parents that have these two little shithead kids that are running around making all kinds of noise and they're the same fucking people that are that, that said that they would just let their kids go in fucking public places and scream their head off and not do anything about it like those fucking people are in a public restaurant and then i go home and i well i didn't even go home i get in the truck next to my wife and i just go absolutely fucking not i'm not having any of those little shitheads but the thing is, is those are the parents and not the kids and i gotta keep on thinking about it's that 50 50 so uh, but i'm going to say that uh <clears throat> philip rivers is way too goddamn many i think two Two, two is the bare maximum. I think China has China had the right idea. You got oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kill the broad. Uh, kill, the, kill, the, kill, the, kill the broads. Kill the broads. No, I'm totally kidding. No, you have two. Two is where you need to be. That's the that's the happy number. They have a friend. They have a brother and sister. They're not so an only child. So three is your answer. No, two. You, you, get you said two. how many is too many? Oh, two many. Oh, yes. So three, three is your three answer. Three is I know answer. you're not very good at math because you're fucking stupid. Yeah, sound out the numbers, but, uh, Scotty. Yeah. Sound them out. Three. Sound about three. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Today's episode brought to you by the brought letter by three. And the number R. And the number R <laughs> for retardo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the episode name can be Tardo, but I'm going to try. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, and last uh, last one this week is going to be, what is the maximum number of times you should keep texting someone after you are receiving no response? Three. Okay. Like if you, you say something, they don't respond. You're like, hey, did you get that text? Nothing. And then maybe like, you good? Yeah. And then that's it. Okay. Yeah. So that's two. That's three. That, no, that's three. You take the initial text, text is one. Hey, did you get that text? That's I two. Sent you. And then you good? That's three. Yeah. I think that's too many. I think you're a stalker. I think you text them once because it's not like they don't fucking see it. If you text somebody and they don't text you back, there's your sign. Sometimes I don't see it. <laughs> well, I don't believe that. That is either. absolutely true. I, I don't, don't either. How do you not? I, I don't. I don't. How do you not? Be, you can't be that Because dumb. I'm Derek. I have I'm, eight unread texts, and I don't know what the fuck they are. I'm so well, popular. Then why, well, then that's... Open them, you fuckhead. Half of them, because every day have at work, I have to log in, and I get a one-time fucking passcode. And so oh, yeah. I type it. I look at my watch, type in the passcode. Click on the goddamn thing. Look at thing. my watch. It pops Just up click my on watch. It. Click on my watch. I, the notification yeah. bubble. I say once, once, The one, notification one bubble would text, drive once. me fucking nuts. Oh, you don't want to see my one. I do agree with will, you, though. Yes, once. I text you. If you don't text me back, fuck you. I, I do agree with Derek. The end. I do agree with Derek. 
I I I I do agree with him uh, on the th- on three. If you go over three, and God damn it, it's the dudes that are texting the chicks that don't respond. Oh. It's the same. Sh- and you know what? We have female listeners on the show. If oh, it's a dude with a chick. I doubt it's that two. very much. Uh, huh? The dude on a chick that like that you're two? trying to. That's okay, two. that's two. I, I agree. If you're going more than that, dog, uh, uh-uh. uh, and the paragraph shit needs to fucking stop. Absolutely not. But no, if you're trying to get a hold of somebody, you send the initial text. And did you get that? And you do one more, and that is the absolute maximum. You don't even need that one. It's really two, but I will tolerate three. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that that's way, much, way, way, yeah, don't do that. Uh, All right. Anyways, that is, that's where we draw the line for this week. Now we get to move on to pr- questions and preguntas. Uh, yeah. Does preguntas just mean pregnant questions? Yes, pregnant mm-hmm. questions. Okay. That's yeah. exactly what it questions is. Questions for pregnant broads. That's <laughs> <laughs> Brados. It's Brados. Que- it's questionos for brados is what right. it is. All right, cool. All right, uh, this is the first one. This is from, uh, let's see, Caden. From oh, shit. In- I know Caden now. Hey, you know Caden. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, but anyways, Caden from Instagram, he wants to know, what's something that feels like it's illegal, but it's not? Anal sex. God damn it. Yeah, butt sex. Uh. For sure. Well, it depends. If it's uh, a surprise, then that's kind of illegal. <laughs> so well, not. that's true. Yeah, they call that stealing home. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a, shit. Yeah. Uh, that's probably how you get laid most of the time anyway, isn't it, JP? Stealing home. Stealing home, yeah. (laughs) It's the only way I get laid nowadays. Uh Fucking Benny the Jet Rodriguez over here. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the name of the episode. (laughs) Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I I, mostly like it when I get base on balls. Oh, yeah, the walk. Yeah, the walk. Yeah, the walk. Love the walk. The walk to first base. Don't walk walk too much anymore. Yeah, that's right. Especially when you get another dude involved, and then you go walk to second base. That's even better. But when when they walk you in home, that's even better. Okay, uh, mine, I, I really do think that this is bad, but whenever I walk into a store, look around for like 20 minutes just by myself, and then walk out and don't, don't buy anything. anything. Yeah, that's I, a good I one. Sus as shit. I, I do, do too. I feel that's like true. everybody is like watching answer, me. Man. They're that watching be, me like yeah. I'm stealing something. Oh, yeah. they for sure. And think I'm just you are. like, well, I used to I, steal stuff, so like, that's, <laughs> so that's exactly that was, how I did it when I like, did steal stuff. That was my yeah. move, man. Like, I do, and you know, every single place you go to anymore has like the the candy at the cash register, like mints or oh, gum yeah, or something. It is. I feel like I need to go in there and buy gum. Yeah. Right. Like I'm sorry, I just I just I walked, walked around, around the for store 20 for minutes. twenty minutes, and then I remembered it's gum that it, I came yeah, for. Exactly. Yeah, that looks way better. I just feel like I took somebody's. That time. makes you look like you're stealing even more <laughs> yeah, know, because right? yeah, dude, that's the worst uh, move. But no, I do. I feel bad. So that's mine. How about you guys? I already said mine. Well, I know. How about you, Derek? Man, I'm trying to think. I can't think of much. Really? No. Oh man! Just in general, I just, or I just this fuck, question. I just, just in general. I didn't, yeah, yeah. No, that doesn't surprise me. How about when you have like a like a point card, like when you go fill your vehicle up with gas, and you use your points that you're gonna pay the you're gonna pay gas anyways. You just get free points. I'm just trying to bring. Up I ideas. think gaming the system, maybe. Like, what do I mean? Like this is what I'll do totally, and it's not illegal, I guess, in a way. But like, in a way, uh, in a way. <laughs> it's not illegal in a way. In a way, I bought <laughs> like I uh, when I bought like my uh, back then that when the PS4 had first come out, I bought my PS4, my big screen. I bought fucking surround sound, all that shit, and I was like, I don't want one of those fucking like eight dollar power strips from Walmart. Like I want a monster power strip, like a it's like a hundred and eighty nine dollar fucking power strip. Yeah. So I bought one on eBay, and it didn't work. You took it back and, and returned like, it. Motherfucker. <laughs> took it back so to the store for an exchange. I, I bought the same one from Best Buy, used it, and then took the one that didn't work and took it back to oh, Best Buy. And it was dick. like, this thing, I don't know what's going on. I just bought one of those $6 jobs from Walmart. So that's that's not really illegal. If they uh, catch you, it's so it's but illegal. But they're not going to catch you doing that. But it's still illegal. I'm not getting arrested for that. Yeah, no, so nobody cares. I'm going to say game in the system on that. Yeah, I okay. had a, All right. When I was, in, when I was a, in high school, I had a PlayStation game that I it didn't work. It would just keep freezing at the same spot. Oh, I so I took that. it back, and it did the same. It was a game glitch. It kept doing mm-hmm. it. So I was like, can I just get my money back? They're like, no, sorry, man. 
it's already open. We can't do that. We can just give you, you know, we can just exchange it. I said, okay, I'll take another copy. Uh, and then I took the copy and then I it. went yeah, home right. and then I waited like a week and I went back. I was like, Hey, I got two of these for my birthday. Can I just get my bunny back? Yeah, no problem. Here's your money. Yeah. Like that smart, that shit. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, next question. What is the worst response to I'm pregnant? Not for long. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, here's the card. Here, yeah. Go to go here. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the dad? <laughs> well, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when's the abortion scheduled? <laughs> that's mine. Uh, all right. Is that that was yours, JP? You already said that. Yeah. The okay. Abortion doctor. Uh huh. And uh, next question: the new unreleased song by Taylor Swift, first and forever. Yeah. <laughs> Did you put that one in there just so you could say that? No. I, I just there's going to be songs, and here's the thing with Taylor Swift is like everybody like everybody now that's a Taylor Swift fan is like she sings all these like like girl power songs and I'm strong kind of thing I'm a strong independent woman songs and I hope Travis Kelsey just beats the brakes off of that bitch and leaves her ass you and tackled so my heart yes exactly yeah. I'm yeah. doing that shit it's and then she's gonna have a song and it's gonna be all my fault is what it's gonna be called right. fourth Absolutely. and 20 yeah <laughs> yes that's what I'm fucking talking yeah. about so okay. yeah that's that's my answer how about you Derek cocaine and butt fucking <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. sounds like a song I wrote that, that is definitely a new song yeah uh next question this is from my What's favorite JP's? that was yours tackle my heart tackle my heart fourth and 20 oh yeah <laughs> i had another one i yeah. don't remember now that's, that's okay. i'm stoned the tight end loves my tight end yeah uh-huh yeah uh this is uh the next one is uh from facebook this is taylor moroski she's like our fucking super fan and i love her to death uh she wants to know strange products to sell with a sexy voiceover Go go ahead, man. <laughs> I am I so don't want to know. <laughs> Come on, JP. I don't know, man. You don't know? Mm. Oh man, I, I've got some stuff. Okay, go, go for it. Can you imagine a sexy supermodel trying to sell you depends? That that would be weird. Like, oh, man, you would look great in these diapers for old people mm. because you think you have a bladder problem? Well, don't make it your problem anymore. Do you piss yourself halfway through the day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to just sit in it <laughs> without anybody knowing? Yes. Then you need to try to pen. That's right. <laughs> and then the next time somebody asks you if, you're pissed, if you piss your pants, you can just tell them, it depends. <laughs> yeah, something like that. How about laxatives? <laughs> Are you plugged up? Are you plugged up? <laughs> do you do you strain just to get out a poop pellet? <laughs> uh, oh, then shit. you should try clear out. Then you should try clear out. It'll open you up like a pair of forceps. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, how about you, Derek? Jardians. What's that? Jardians. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what is Jardians? <laughs> Jar Jardians Simpla for Rio or whatever. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Now. It's a, it's a oh, medication. It is. Okay. Yeah. It is a medication. Just imagine. Uh, possible side effects include urinary tract infections, <laughs> genital infections, urinating more often, upper respiratory tract infections, high cholesterol, joint pain, nausea, low blood sugar. Jardins I can do more used. with Jardians. <laughs> yeah, I know that commercial. People one. with type 2 diabetes <laughs> and shouldn't, be be taking shouldn't be taking Jardians. It is not known if Jardians is safe and effective in children under 10. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what does Jardians even help with? I have to look it up because I yeah. can't remember. Oh, it's God. something. It's something that keeps you out of the game because Jardians puts you back in the game. It's like some kind of... Uh, like uh like, oh. a, like an erectile dysfunction no though? no no it's a like, prescription medication used to lower blood sugar along with <laughs> yeah, blood sugar exercise. makes you tired yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I i do believe that derek should be on jardians it's quite <laughs> well maybe i am maybe i am <laughs> It's <laughs> yeah. JP's over there losing his shit. I'm laughing at JP because he's laughing. Jardians. Oh shit. You're stupid. <laughs> 
All right, last question is, what's a strange sign to find at the zoo? Please don't fuck the animals. Of course it was going to be there. Yeah, yeah that's got to be, gotta it, be there. Uh, don't fuck the goats. Yep, that was there. Uh, I actually have a real one. Yeah. yeah. Beware of the 400-pound females. Broads, Scotty. Broads. 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 My bad. Broads. <laughs> Brados. <clears throat> uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, whites only. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Oh man, hey, that's uh, that zoo that's, needs to get with the time. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking the only shit. black people you see are over there scooping elephant poop. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. That'd be that'd be a Scotty Zoo. Uh, How you doing today, boss? <laughs> like that? Nah, no, uh, uh-uh. just no. over here scooping the shit. That's terrible. No. That's yeah. horrible. That would be an awful, weird, and terrible sign that to see. Sure would yeah. be. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and predictions. I wonder if they had those back in the Civil War. Of course they did, man. There's Absolutely. no... Did. They didn't have to have the signs. They knew better. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a like They bitch. had bathrooms. They knew did better. Did they have zoos? You can't even drink from the water fountain. What the fuck makes you think you can walk into the zoo? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I don't want to see the stray dog. I want to see the pandas. We can't yeah. see the pandas, son. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. Uh, I'm glad, getting canceled glad. for that joke. You probably yeah, are. Probably. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, keep your eyes peeled every Monday, fun day. You can put in your suggestions for what we uh, have for these uh, questions, suggestions, and all that shit. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline. And uh, I did not win last week. I did not. Um, Sweet. JP did. Of course I did, man. Yeah. Dude, I'm on a fucking roll. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. I'll Be- tell you why. Because I've been gone. It's because of that. <laughs> it's because Jeremy's not here. It's your gay fucking magic. It's your gay magicianness. I, yeah. I'm, I'm just that good. Yeah. Thank you. All of you who voted for me. Yep, we did. Uh, uh, keep doing it. <laughs> we did a draft. Keep on, keeping on. Our last meals. I know what you want on because I was going to get it the, if it came back to me. Mac and cheese. Yeah, you want it with mac one. and cheese. Oh, yeah. So See, my fat ass would have uh, picked like all you can eat ribs. Yeah, and just right. Eat and just very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not full yet. Well, got gotcha, you, bitch. It cracks me Loophole. up. It cracks me up how many people go ahead and vote the day that the episode comes out early in the morning and then don't listen to the episode because Steve's answers were all great. If you listen to the episode, everything that Steve ate or would eat for his last meal would legitimately be his last meal because it would kill him. So that's why I think his list was excellent, but that's beside the point. Well, they didn't agree with you. They did not agree so. with him. So, anyways, because JP won last week's draft, uh, he gets the championship picks um, uh, last. And then uh, this week, because uh, I came in dead last, but I at least was fucking here when I was supposed to be, I get the middle picks, the sandwich picks. And then uh, that means, Derek, you get the I Suck at Life picks, uh, which is the first pick. And this week's draft is going to be our favorite cell phone applications. Okay? Okay. If it's a cell phone app, you can draft it. Okay? Okay. Derek, what is your first pick? I have to go with TikTok. Of course. You <laughs> piece of shit. Dude. Really? I, that's oh. the one thing that can I can fucking sit and I love TikTok. For hours. For hours? Yes. I've done it. It's bad. Like, I'll just sit on the couch. I'm like, oh, I got 30 minutes to kill, and I'll start flipping through, and I'm like, fuck, it's 9.45? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's not a bad pick. It really is. It wasn't it? coming back to me. Uh, Yeah, you're right. You're probably right. I think uh, I think JP would have probably taken it. At least, if not one, definitely two. Um, but I'm, I'll go ahead, and I'll take the, the competitor. I'm going to take Twitter. Or X. X. Whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's the same goddamn thing. I like it. I like the whole idea. I like that we can post any video on that motherfucker and it doesn't get taken down. Not even not even questioned. I, I mean, we don't even have any fucking warnings on that goddamn app. So I'm gonna go Twitter slash X. That's my pick. Uh, J, JP, you get two in a row, dude. 
I'm going to go with Grinder. Of course you would. I should have waited because you guys weren't going to pick that. I <laughs> that, was, waited. that was next on my list. Yeah, well, <laughs> I should have fucking saved that one. You stole that one. Uh, sure did, And JP. then Damn, uh, yeah, my second one would be Curiosity Stream. What the fuck is that? Dude, it's a fat-ass fucking app. They they have... Fat asses dude, are there? It's, oh, yeah. Dude, it's really cool. It, I mean, anything you want to know about anything is on Curiosity Stream, man. <laughs> A like, challenge. No, seriously, it's it's a cool app. Okay. You have to check it out. Well, if uh, if we're going to do that, um, I guess I'm going to go with probably the thing I use the most every single day, and that is going to be the YouTube's. YouTube is a lifesaver. There's no instruction manuals anymore. They're all on fucking YouTube. You want to learn how to do something? Go to YouTube. That's uh, that's how you do it. Okay. And if you can't fucking figure it out from there, tack hammer time, bitches. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row, dude. Netflix. Yep, that's a good one. Although I am canceling it because they are running out of shit. Well, the writer strike just ended. Oh, yippee. So I'm happy about that. Okay, cool. good. Good um, for them. Strike. And then... I will go with Amazon. Oh. Uh, that was the one I was going to get. It wasn't coming back to you, dog. But no, you picked Grinder and Curiosity <laughs> Stream, you fucking idiot. You think. Woo. Okay. Me, you know, people love me, man. Okay. They're going to vote for so me. So I'm going to pick Amazon Prime. I don't think that. Does, yeah, I don't Sorry. think so. This is the video game argument. The Atari Twenty Six Hundred no, and the Atari Amazon, Amazon and Amazon Prime, same fucking thing. Come man. on, I want to buy my Brados something fun. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, no, I. Uh, let's see. I want. I didn't think Netflix was going to come back to me. I was. I. I, I dude, it, it was the tits like years ago. I don't think it's great anymore. I, see, I, I don't have cable, so I just use Netflix. I don't. So. I don't really have cable anymore, other than sports. That's the only thing I watch on. Everything else I stream. So I think it's great, but I just. I don't think it's. Uh, it, it's not what it used to be. It's gone a little too. You know, iffy. Um, I guess I will go motherfucker. Um, God damn it. I guess, uh, that's where we're on there. And, uh, I'm gonna go with Instagram. So I'll take that. Mm. Uh, JP, you get two in a row, dude. You can take the old people app if you want to. It's there. It's wide open. I, do, right, I refuse man. to take uh, it. Yeah, I don't fuck it. I'll go with Facebook. I'm sure you would. FB and uh, MySpace fucking butts. MySpace <laughs> is no longer an app. Mm, it's yeah, the, so it, I actually, I take that back. It's not no longer an app. It never was an app. It didn't make the application deadline, man. Well, next really thing you're going to pick it. is Zanga. Are you going to pick Zanga mm, too? No. Damn. Um, I've got one that Chatterbait. I, I, oh, is that an app? <laughs> it is. Is it an app? Yeah. They got an app for that. Yeah. Good for them. I gotta say, that's good. If you're porn and you have your own fucking application, that's pretty. That's pretty good, man. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Chatterbait. Wow. Okay. Uh. Well, that brings it back to the one that I probably, uh, I probably also use on a regular basis, and we're on it as well. Spotify, baby. Yeah, Spotify is a good one. Spotify is a great one. Um. And you know what? Thanks to Spotify because they actually pay us. YouTube is pissed off at us right now because, I don't know, they think we're inappropriate or some shit like that. I click where it says this is not for children, yet we apparently can't cuss anymore or else we don't get paid. I actually keep reporting it. I figured you probably would. Uh, did I mention you're not going to be on the show very much longer? <laughs> <laughs> ah, God damn. <laughs> I, guys, I can't, I can't stand up for about 10 minutes. Big okay. party coming coming soon. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. These are your last two. Uh, probably something I couldn't survive without. Please. Google Maps. Okay, go for it. Woo. Amen, brother. That's I good. Yeah, I, yeah. That's good, but yeah. I know my directions. I don't need it. But if you take my last one, I'm going to be fucking pissed. All right. Well, it's not a music app. Okay, and I, I, mine's not either. Um. And I'm going to say just Napster. <laughs> <laughs> it's Napster, baby. Let me ask you this. Is Google Maps and Google all rolled into one? Yeah. I, 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 uh, is Google an app? I don't think Google's an app. It's more of a website. It's, a website. it's an app. Yeah, Google yeah. Chrome is I mean, the, it's, it's yeah, a search yeah, engine. That I, takes uh, you. It's nah, not an app. That's a website. That's a website. I, uh, yeah, I, I, right. I, don't, I don't think that. No. Okay. Then I'll, I mean, Google Apps is fine with me. And then uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Reddit. Okay. Yeah, I, that's, cool. that's good. Oh, thank God. 
I there, dude. We live in Kansas, man. There's something here that changes the weather every app. fucking day. You're so dumb, dude. I'm so sorry, but yeah, when you live in Kansas and it tardo. changes as much as it does, I want to know when shit is gonna hit the fan. And and everybody, we're all fucking guilty weather of it. App. Every, don't even shake your head at it because you do it too. All of us do it. I just Google the weather. Yeah, just when shit's That's getting ready it. to hit the fan, you go to your weather app or whatever radar the system that you decide to like, uh-huh. and you go and or you go. Gaydar. We're not it, discriminating. Well, that JP's paying all over that motherfucker. But the thing is, is you got to see if real serious shit's heading your way. So I'm gonna take the weather app, man. That's where it's at. So all right, I don't care. Don't judge. JP, your your final pick. Uber Eats. Okay. Uber would have been a good, just Uber in general. Yeah, I'm just going to give you Uber. Okay. I'll just give you, because that takes care of Uber and Uber Eats. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uber That was a good one. Yeah. I, 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 might be, I might be the winner. I, or grinder, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chatterbait's Chatterbait's gonna Chatterbait could do it too. Hey, man, you know, when you're good, you're good, and I'm good. I, I got to say, man, that's like... Uh, one app that everybody uses. I don't like driving in other people's cars. I don't like getting in other people's cars. I'm too judgy. Yeah, you well, are a piece I of see, shit. Well, no, I just see cars on a daily basis. Yeah. And granted, these people for the most part are are like keep the insides of their cars clean. But I'm, that's not what I'm looking whenever I get in the Way car. To get my you know, car in there, you know yeah. what I'm looking at. You know, you yeah. know what I'm looking at when I get into a car. And what is it? It's a goddamn instrument cluster yeah. that has five fucking lights on, and yeah. two of them are safety lights. And going, oh fuck, this is great. Yeah. So that's, yeah, I that's just me. I'm still waiting to, for the day I get in an accident because when I go get my oil changed with Scotty, and then they turn my headlights off, <laughs> and then I never turn them on because they're automatic. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. It's true. It does happen. But anyways, guys, that is our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter slash X. That's the app that I drafted. Um, and you can vote for uh, the list that has your favorite cell phone applications. Um, yeah. And whoever wins doesn't get anything. They just get to draft last next week and get, That'll be me. get some props. That'll be me. Uh-huh. Uh, but anyways. Yeah, uh, go and vote. That uh, that means a lot to us. Uh, but anyways, now we can move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. I'm waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. I'm wet. Brought to you by moist. JP being wet moist. slash moist. What are you using down there, JP? What products are you using? Just tongue oil. Just tongue oil. Yep. And the shower shot. That's, and, and the shower that's shot. That's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. We need to we need to uh, promote the shower shot, dude. We should probably get them to fucking sponsor us no absolutely not i've got i've got some big ones that i'm working on whoops not bigger than shower shot <laughs> were you able to get drill dough yeah i mean other than that as see. much as we made fun of them they said no damn <laughs> no no but uh the sister fister on the other hand did, yeah did respond to an email i've got one in right now <laughs> it's connected to Derek, ain't it? Maybe. I uh-huh, figured. Yeah, we're human centipede. That's thing. right. Yes. Absolutely. You Good know thing what? You guys can't see under this table. You should. You should uh, side pocket each other. I think. Oh uh, yeah. Be I've fun. got a hole there just, just in <laughs> he case. He sure does. Uh, but anyways, you can't even get the back one used. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I'm damn sure ain't gonna. Yeah, you ain't wrong. You ain't lying there, man. Yeah. Oh, that's a Here, shame. I, I'll put two flabs of that's fat like together. Last, you fuck that. That's like the last thing I need is more pussy. I'm <laughs> so tired of it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, but ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation Ooh. is: Would you rather? Uh, call a f- uh, every single time you call friends to go to something, they agree to it and then cancel at the last minute every time you do that, or no one ever responds to your text messages. I say either way, it's a win win. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck everyone. Uh, I would say nobody responds to my text messages because I'll just call them or I'll see them somewhere or whatever. But every time somebody that you make plans with somebody, they cancel, you would never be able to fucking do anything Mm -hmm. with any. Yeah. I say text. I say not respond to my texts. Here's the thing. I am a good time. 
<laughs> Keep laughing, assholes. I can't top that one. That's the funniest thing we've had on the show. Hey, Don. man, that's what I do. Just make jokes. Uh, uh, no, I, I think... Regular Skip Clark over I, here. I, I, yeah, he is. Shit. Regular John Wesley Austin. Let me, let me tell you something about, about trying to organize comedians to come on a podcast that one of them in particular says he doesn't want to do but really does. Um, and try to get, you, bro. try Steve, to get people oh, yeah. to commit to a time okay. to do a show with two comedians. And if you're trying to figure out comedians, they're like fucking cats. They're flakier than fuck. And they just kind of, it's just so hard. And I tell you what, if they did not respond to text messages, guys, we'd be fucked. We would not have a laughing on the sideline show. Oh, that'd be so great. Anyways, um, I... <laughs> really appreciate people like JP who actually responds to text messages. And I would, if they didn't respond to text messages, you're forgetting what happens after they, you don't respond to text messages. People start calling you mm -hmm. That's and, it, why, yeah. and that pisses me off more than texting. So if I got to go places and somebody cancels the last minute, that doesn't really bother me. I'll, I'll just have fun by myself. I don't care. I do it all the, all the other times, you know, I, I mean, I'm really excited to possibly try to make a baby. Cause that means I got to get some action sometimes. Otherwise I'm by myself. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely saying we well, got to take I, off the helmet, right? I got to take the helmet off. Yeah. Yeah. Of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, before it comes out, no. it just comes out wearing a helmet. I guarantee no, it. The, I, I gotta, guarantee no, it. No, put the helmet on when the baby's uh, born. It's got little leg braces. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I I would much rather people cancel on me on a regular basis. That's totally fine. It it yeah. You probably I'm, do anyway. It's probably like yeah, the way you I live mean, your life I'm, now. I'm used to it, man. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. How about you, Derek? I would rather people probably not respond to my text messages. Really? I fucking hate when people cancel on me last minute. Whether it was back when I was trying to run yeah. the fantasy football draft, yeah. whenever I'm trying to book a comedy show, no matter what, and, and I get canceled on, and it's fucking 10, 20, 30 minutes before the show, whatever the case may be, do that fucking drives me insane. It's insane how it drives him insane, and yet he does it to us all the time. When did I do it to you? No, you do it all the time. When? All the time. He can never give me a specific <laughs> example. I don't think he wants to. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I hate that shit. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to go with uh, just don't fucking respond to my text because you know what? If you cancel on me like that enough, I'm not fucking texting you anymore. <laughs> anymore anyway. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Good point. <laughs> they just fucking start calling you. Oh, and then they'll call Block. you. Block. Uh, they'll call you, and then they won't leave a voicemail. They'll call you again. I never leave voicemails. Oh, fuck. If somebody calls me and then hangs up and then calls me again and then hangs up and then calls me again, you're blocked. You're fucked forever. You know with the new Apple update, you can actually see the voicemail as they're leaving it. It yeah. will show you the – that's fucking dope. It yeah. is pretty dope. But Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode of the Laughings on the Sideline po Sidelines podcast. Sorry. Um Guys, you're doing a great job. Thank you very much for all the new listeners. I sincerely do appreciate it. We have a lot of fun on this show, uh, even uh, when Derek is here. Uh, I know it's probably a little bit down show because Derek is here. But mm -hmm. when he's not, we have a fucking excellent time. I bet. Yeah. Um, I think he's hitting that. Man. Everybody's. Fuck off the every, I don't think he likes you. Everybody man. is so yeah. much happier. Derek just whew, brings it down. Derek, That's man. <laughs> He's been really happy this episode. I've seen more smiles out of Derek this episode than I have. In, I gotta like, say, he's been pretty positive. He oh, fuck, hang on, let me dial it. Back he doesn't down. have <laughs> the burden of baseball on yeah, his shoulders. That's it's nice. just, yeah. it is what it is. All right, but uh, anyways, seventy hours a week, bro. I know, it's dog. I, I told you at the beginning of the show. I feel for you. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you very, very uh, sorry. Thank you very much for everything mm -hmm. that you guys are doing. Keep sharing our TikToks, um, our videos, uh, everything that you could do. If you know some people that would like to listen to this show, uh, we're pretty accessible, man. That's uh, yeah. what we like to do. We have send me time. your dick pics. Do not do that or bullets. No, <laughs> send Derek bullets and send me dick pics. If Don't mix the two up either. Yeah, please. yeah, yeah please. no, because if he's if they send dick pics, you know where that fucking dick pic goes? Right care. on your printer. No, That's me. That's <laughs> it cool. goes to me. I don't you want like it. it. 
I do not. And please don't forward the nasty ones. Just send me the good ones. Okay, that's disgusting. Anyways, uh, but anyways, guys, as we <laughs> always like to say on this show, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope your racist ass gets mauled while trying to hand-feed the lions at the whites-only <laughs> zoo. <laughs> Because hand feeding the king of the fucking jungle sure sounds like some dumbass shit that white people would do. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, I'm stuck on Band Aid. Band Aid stuck on me. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing at us. We will see y'all later. Take care.